Hi you guys, it's Stephanie with Coffee Paper Scissors. I am going to attempt a mixed media page in my December daily. I'm not a mixed media person at all. And so, you know, I, I just hope it it's not something that, that isn't gonna turn out okay. I, I want it to be cute. I love looking at people's mixed media pages. Um, so we'll see, I don't know. I have um, some, uh, this stuff, plastic, no, wax paper, um, just to kind of keep my pages clean, uh, the underneath ones. I'm gonna start out putting um, some different colors of paint just kind of stroked around. I don't know if that's the right word. Like I said, this is not my normal kind of to do. So I'm just going to, I'm taking my brush and just kind of lightly getting some stuff in there. And I'm going to be working from the center out. I want to do um, two pages on it. And I just thought I would, you know, do a little bit of layering up of some colors. And I don't have a lot of paint, so I really can't do a whole lot of saturating the whole thing. So I've made up um, some prompts for myself. I looked online and I didn't want to watch an entire, you know, a lot of these mixed media videos are really long. And I, I didn't want to um, sit and watch an hour long video trying to figure out what their prompts were for a couple of reasons. I didn't want their um, finished product to influence mine. And then also I really needed to get to work and I didn't wanna take the time to um, have to watch the whole video to, to see, you know, to get the prompts. I didn't want their, their idea necessarily, but I was interested in their prompts. <laughs> <clears throat> and I know these videos can sometimes take a really long time, so I'm hoping that this doesn't. Okay. I definitely should have brought over some paper towels and wipes and stuff, but and I didn't. I did not do that. Okay, so that was kind of a cream. This one's white, so it should kind of pop off the page even better. If I were to get any of it actually on the brush, that might be good. I used to have quite a bit of paint, um, but my daughter has gone through it all, and I don't, I don't do you know things with paints very often anymore, so um, I don't ever think to buy them. And then I think, oh, maybe I'll do some sort of mixed media, and then I don't have enough paint to do anything, you know, really with it. So I end up not. I'm going to be putting something else around the edges. I'm not sure how well that's showing up, but I can see it. Let's see. Oh, I should have brought some water too. I do have some baby wipes here, so. I guess I'll just wipe it with the wipe. Maybe I'll wrap it with the wipe so it doesn't dry. I'm thinking about, I have this stamp here, and I'm thinking about going around and putting white 
Don't know if that's going to show up at all. Maybe a little. And it's real bumpy underneath, so that's probably not good. So my prompts. I just went with the word December. And I did die cut for D. There are three E's in the word December. So that was interesting. Okay, and I was thinking also to maybe use some, what is it called? Let me grab it real quick. I think it's stickles is, or not stickles. Well, this is called liquid pearls. And I actually think I want the coppery one. I don't know if I've used this before, so I don't know how well it's going to come out. And I'm wanting to use that same stamp pad. I don't know if it's going to work. Not real well. Maybe it's the stamp. I'm also afraid to get things really wet, so. Put a little bit more on there. Let's see. I'm gonna rub it around a little bit with my fingers first. Anyway, so I did um, an envelope for the first E, and then I did for the C, collage, and then for the next E, embossing powder. I don't know what that is. Um, and then... For the M, I chose memory, and so I'm not sure. I think what I'm going to do is, you know, with the envelope, I'll put a memory inside of the envelope. I think that's what I'll do. I don't want my paint to dry inside of my ink pad. Okay. All right, and so then I have another color of paint I wanted to put on a little bit. That Like, this stuff is really old, you guys. I have probably had it for, I mean, it could be 20 years. I'm surprised there's still any, like, life to it. I don't know. Let's see. I need a bigger desk. So I just wanted to go around the edges to add a little something coming from the edge. And then what I'm thinking to do is to collage around the edge. So you guys who do mixed media all the time, oh my goodness. First of all, I'm very impressed because it's very cool. Um, and then second of all, be kind. Because <laughs> this, is, this is definitely a new thing for me. I mean, I've watched a couple videos and I think more generally there's not as much dry brushing as I'm kind of doing. It's more like get the whole thing wet sort of thing, which which I love, but I don't want it to have a hard time drying. 
I want to get this all done in one video. Okay. I'm going to do the best I can to wipe that off my brush. And then I'm going to just wrap my brush in that wet wipe. And I'm going to get this off my desk for right now. Okay, so collage. I brought over this paper pad. I've had this paper pad for several years now. I've done different things with it. And I have tons of bits and pieces inside. So I thought maybe it would be good to use this for the collage. And I'm going to ink as I go. Um, I think I've told you guys before, I like the torn edge showing. Um, like how it sometimes separates the paper and you see the white. I like that. So I, I'm going to leave that. Actually, I think I'm going to do this down here because this is a little bit directional. There's a kid's head in it. So, so he's not sideways. I'm going to just do it this way. probably add more white in there. I feel like it needs more. I don't really like it as it is. Let's see. This one needs to be fairly. Well, see, now I just messed myself up. Hold on now. son's texting me. He just got off work, but I have my phone on airplane mode, but it's coming over my iPod. Hopefully he doesn't want me to respond. I'm gonna be messy. I keep on thinking I've got blood on my finger. I'm like, oh no, what did I do? But it's paint. <laughs> so if you guys see that, I'm fine. I didn't do anything to it. <laughs> Let's see. So far, I'm not so sure about this, you guys. Wrong place. I'm not sure that I like the red at all, this. 
I'm going down below just a little bit because my this page isn't lined up real well, and so I'm I'm attaching it a little lower. Probably not the best thing to do because then I'm gonna have a problem on this side. Well, I'll figure that out tomorrow. Like what Scarlett O'Hara said, I'll think about it tomorrow. I will think about it tomorrow. Scarlett O'Hara, is that right? Yeah. I haven't watched that movie in a long time. They used to show it on TV all the time, but I've not seen it on TV in years. And honestly, I think, you know, my kids have probably never even really heard of it before. A straight edge over here. I have one not straight, but I intended to have a straight edge. So what are you guys up today? I've had several of you have, um, you know, answered on, on my videos, you know, talking about different things, you know, things that you guys have gotten for Christmas and then different memories. That is so sweet. I love you. I love reading all of those um, memories. Um, we, I don't know, we I think tend to forget how you just, you live in your own little world, you know, and you, you think, I don't know, you just think about yourself oftentimes. And so to hear everybody else's memories is, I don't know, it just kind of opens the world up to you. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys or not, but I don't know. I hope this isn't ugly. Um, I'm telling you what, sometimes. gonna end up having a problem. I have a Christmas tree to put in the center here and I'm gonna run out of room, I have a feeling. Yeah, I don't like the, the paint at all that I did. So my son just got off work and he was texting me saying that he was going to be doing some Christmas shopping and that he would be broke again when he was done. Like, yeah, I know how you feel. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> he's just, you know, learning so much right now. And there are several things he's deciding he doesn't like very much. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. That's, that's called adulthood. I don't know. I mean, I guess I didn't. I didn't mind the growing up part of it. I I liked getting out on my own and figuring things out and I made mistakes and things like that. I learned from them and moved on and that sort of thing. Um he just, you know, needs to be patient with himself and I think that's 
it's hard. It's hard for him right now. He just wants, wants things to, I don't know, I guess be easier. But it's nice that he wants to buy the gifts for people. My husband said, well, what are you going to, you know, do that for? He says, well, I want to buy people things. And, and you know, that's sweet. I don't think people expect him to, you know. Um, but he wants to. So how can you tell him not to? You know, I'm thinking, I'm going to try, I see um, Tina, shabby dabby doo -dah, she's always using her finger whenever she's doing um, like a mixed media something. You know, that part right there is going to be covered up, so I'm not real concerned about that red. But I just thought, I, I don't like it. I'm looking at it and I don't like it. So let me just do something about that. I think that kind of toned the red down a little. Uh, like I said, a lot of it isn't going to be showing. It's going to, like, that's going to be covered like this one is. But this can be drying while I'm doing more gluing. Yeah. Okay. Several things I'm not really fond of, but... We'll move on. We'll move on. Go ahead and use that. I think I want more white on it, actually. Okay, I think the collage around the edge is going to come out okay. I think I like that. Um, so I have been talking with another YouTuber. It's Jen over at Jen's Junk. I need to add a little bit right there. And we've been talking about doing a collaboration on our December dailies. And I've never done um, a collaboration. And so the poor girl, she <laughs> she's probably just like, oh, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> because I keep on saying, but um, but then what? I don't quite get it. And anyway, um, so I'm not sure how it all works at this point. And so what I want to do right now is to tell you that we've been at least talking about it and definitely go over and check out her channel. She's an adorable. She has an accent. I love to listen to her talk. My parents are from the South. Um, my mom's from Arkansas. My dad's from Texas. And so it kind of makes me grin to hear people use some of the terminology that I grew up hearing. Um, 
and but you just don't you know don't hear very often and so you know she'll say some things and you know it's funny like my parents I know they have accents because when I was growing up my friends would talk about their accents but since I was you know I heard them talk every day I didn't really notice it but I notice it in other people and I think that's interesting but anyway so she has an accent and um, she's working on um, a December daily that is in a um, like a traveler's notebook size and oh I don't want to say the wrong person but I believe that it's from Cheaply Chic that, that she's using um, one of her um, journals that she makes up. So it's really cute, really cute. And she's very sweet. So I am going to link her channel in my description box so that you guys can run over and see what she's doing. Hers is totally different from mine and um and you know fun and whereas mine is like I don't know I feel like mine's too reserved you know like it's all one paper pack except for today I'm using a different paper pack but um since this is my first time ever doing one and I haven't I actually haven't been watching people's videos for very long I think I started watching tons and tons of videos maybe last February or March or something like that before that I just I don't know I watched a little bit here and there but I, I wasn't like actively every day watching people's videos and so I've never seen one done um and and so I'm just going by I don't know I guess I'll do this kind of a thing so um, but now having seen people do, you know, different things, I'm like, okay, I see what people are doing. I gotcha. Anyway, so yeah, there are they're very different um, style wise. Um, hers is totally adorable. I'm getting junk on the back side. I haven't done the 13th yet. I'm behind, you guys. I am so behind. Okay, let's see. Can't use that one. It's not a corner. I'll use this one. I'm making a bigger mess for myself. I'm pretty sure I already tore one of these ones. Where is it? Oh, I don't know. Let's use this. Nope. I'll use this one. I'm trying to just get a corner going. Yeah, anyway, so she's, you know, sending me a message and that sort of thing, and I keep on asking questions. <laughs> like, but I, I don't get it. <laughs> Are we supposed to do the exact same thing? And she's like, no, no, we're just... We're kind of doing the same thing, but they don't have to be the exact same thing. I'm like, oh, okay, I think I get it. Well, either way, I'm sending people to go watch her videos because they're good. I'm going to end up spending this whole video doing just the collage. We're not going to get very far. I'm determined. I am determined. are really bad. Do you guys ever get to the point in a paper pack where you just don't ever want to look at it again and you just want to chuck the whole thing? 
I'm kind of at that point with this one because I have a million little pieces and I'm like, I feel so guilty that there's so many different pieces and I just, I don't know, I won't have to deal with the guilt if I just throw it away. And then I keep on thinking, oh no, I'll do this and then that'll use up. It never does. It actually, everything always makes more, always makes more um, scraps, always, even collaging. Now, I have no problem throwing away things like this. No problem at all. Except, see, look, they're right here and I'm not throwing them away. <clears throat> but, you know, I definitely don't save anything like that. But then sometimes I'll have something that's like an inch by a half an inch. And I think, oh, well, I'm sure I could do something with that. And I do see crafters that do. I see people who, you know, use every single piece of something. And it looks great, and I just don't know why my brain doesn't work that way. I know that I'm speaking to the choir. I I know I'm not the only one. Speaking, preaching to the choir, I think that's how, I think that's the term. Okay, well, I do like the collaging around the edge. I think that's really cute. And then I believe I am going to add some more white kind of in the background open. And it's going to end up pink because there's white, I mean, red in it. I really didn't like those little bumps that I put in there either. I wanted my strokes to hide behind the collage, but that didn't happen. Okay. That's okay wrap this again so it doesn't dry out on me. Okay, so let me see if I can find under this mess I have here a white. Let me get this paper out of my way. I just, I know this is going to be a long video, guys. I apologize. Let's see if I can at least get the major yuck off. All right, I think that what I'm going to do next is I have, okay, so I did collage envelope and embossing powder. So I have an envelope. I'm gonna move this out of the way so it can dry a little bit. Hey, it looks good out of the light like that. And I am going to emboss on this envelope. gonna use this is the thing that I iron on and I'm just gonna use that just in case I'm gonna, I haven't embossed in a couple weeks and so I don't know
hopefully I kind of remember what I'm doing. I want the top one to have, I don't want it to show up underneath, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Hopefully that works and I want to use black on it. Alright, so I'm going to turn the embossing gun or heat tool on so you can fast forward if you need to or whatever. So here we go. Oh wait, I don't want that open. Oh boy. That's really cute. Okay, and then I wanted to do just a little bit more um, underneath um, on this part. And I don't want it in the envelope part. So I'm gonna I can get it in there. I do know that Santa is bringing me a big one of these. I had a conversation with Santa. Um, this is going to be, let's see, maybe like that. And then maybe just a little bit more on the side. Just kind of coming in. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Gonna end up being embossing powder inside my envelope. Do you guys ever get the feeling like it's not gonna stick? I want to push it down with my finger. You guys are probably yelling at me, don't do that. I just feel like it's not gonna stay. <laughs> okay, so here goes the heat gun again. out so pretty the little sparkles in there can you see that I love it I don't know why it's stuck there some that's okay okay so that's pretty I want to I'm gonna get this out of my way and I will clean up my 
Okay. I will clean up my embossing powder when I'm done, but my lid is on, so that's good. Okay, I want to ink around this in black. sometimes to get the edge of an envelope, isn't it? I usually make a big mess, and I, I don't know why, but I always make a mess when it's black ink, and I just, I don't know if it's um, just not as forgiving, that whatever it's made out of just doesn't, I don't know. I'm probably going to have to line the back of it, but I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. Okay, let's bring our book back over. I don't know that I need those still, but... So I'm thinking maybe I'll do it this way because... That's wet. Okay, heat gun, you guys. pretty though, isn't it? I like that. Okay. Um, before I do that, I want to do just a little bit of stamping. Kind of like background stamping here and there. Where's my paper again? Just kind of, eh, you know, like nothing, it's not like getting everything, just kind of, kind of getting some. And this is going to be hard because it's in the fold. That's okay though. I probably should have gotten it on the on the outer parts. Help it to make more sense a little bit. Stop while I'm ahead. So this will be day 14. I, I have in mind day 13. I just haven't done it. Um, so this will be day 14. And I will put it most likely inside of the envelope. Maybe 
maybe I'll put it here or something like that. I don't know. Okay, so I got collage. Okay, die cut. The D. I have it somewhere. Here it is. Okay, so I die. This is a die cut, and I am going to ink around quite heavily, really, because I have another that I just kind of traced and cut out to put behind it. So I want the edges to really be apparent. So like that. And then I'm going to ink this one, but not, not nearly as heavily, just kind of the edges so that it sticks off the page, but not necessarily um, gets too inked up. I don't know if this is the first video that um, Jen would send people over and, and it's going to be a long one. I hope it doesn't throw people off. I mean, look at my other videos. I don't generally do crazy long videos. get a little more I think I'm just going to kind of go right there and then in there to my lid. I've got a mess going on you guys. Pretty bad. All right, I'm going to glue my tree to the other tree. Actually like it sticking off the side like that. Um, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I like it, but I don't have anything to put up in here. I don't know what it's gonna be. Okay, I need to turn on my glue gun. Okay, so I want to make a garland out of buttons. So I'm going to go ahead while my glue gun is heating up. I'm just going to thread some through. So I have, um, let's see, memory is going to go in here. So buttons is the B in December. And then E is embroidery floss, which is what I'm putting my buttons on.
and then we'll move them around and you know attach them attach it with the hot glue as we go So are you guys watching other people's um, December dailies? Who else's are you watching? I've, I've said before that I'm really trying to watch people that, um, that I haven't watched a lot in the past. Okay. Um, because, you know, you learn, you learn more things that way. He said he was, you know, getting his girlfriend Christmas presents and, you know, he said he was going to get us Christmas presents and everything, but he's done already. You know how boys shop. <laughs> so, okay, let's see if that is hot enough yet. What I want to do is just kind of stick some glue behind to get it started. getting dark. I need to turn my light on, I think. Okay. Hopefully this turns out cute. Hmm. What I might do is actually make it go around the back side of the tree. That might work. Like just like that. It's just about like decorating a tree, putting the lights on, <laughs> that's frustrating, which I didn't have to do this year since my daughter did it. This is for sure fiddly.
talking. Oh, they're talking about how he's out of money already. He's getting frustrated. I hope you don't hear him. He doesn't sound very happy. This is cute, you guys. I hope you like it. And I'm really sorry about the length of time. Normally I would say you're not allowed to fast forward, but I totally understand if you fast forward. Okay. Almost done. Just gonna wrap that around. And get like maybe one more button on it, maybe. Over on this side, yeah, like a bigger one. <laughs> Poor kid. And you know, dads are real good at sympathy. I'm going to put one more right at the middle or, you know, just kind of to end it because otherwise I don't know how to end it. Like maybe there or something. Maybe. And tie it in a knot. I know how to make a knot. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty. I like the buttons. I'm thinking I'm going to hot glue it down, you guys, because of all that thread. Ooh, that's got to happen fast. Ouch, I got some on me. Okay, and then the last thing is um, ribbon, and I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do with ribbon. Maybe I'll put it up at the top as a topper. Let's see. Maybe a little bow. A bow will be cute. I just need more. I'm not good at the bows. Are you guys good at bows? I know that there's... Oh, come on. Okay, the other side is better. But then when I go to try and fix it, it makes it wrong. I'm going to make it a big bow.
and then I'm going to glue my ribbon the way I want it so that we see the pretty part. just about done you guys and I will probably add a little bit to it after I'm done with the video and show it to you again later um, so you can see it all the way done but I know this is plenty long enough So I have the die cut, the envelope, the collage, the embossing powder, the memory is going to go in here, the buttons, the embroidery floss, and the ribbon. That's it, you guys. And I'll probably put the 14th somewhere on here. All right. Well, I hope you like it. Um, thank you for sticking around if you did. And I think I'm going to stick something right up in here, but I'll show it to you when it's all the way done. Thanks for watching. Bye.